Catherine Clark. Thank you so much, Mr. Leader, and good afternoon. As a former caucus vice chair, I congratulate and welcome our incoming vice chair, Congressman Ted Liu. We are just thrilled and have an incredible team in Chair Aguilar and in Vice Chair Liu. And today, Democrats are celebrating on two fronts. This morning, we received welcome economic news from the November Consumer Price Index report. Inflation is coming down. In fact, it has fallen for five straight months and is at its lowest level in nearly a year. What's more, gas prices are down, unemployment is down, the GDP is up, and jobs are up, including a total of 10 and a half million jobs created under the leadership of President Biden. And this afternoon, President Biden will sign the Respect for Marriage Act, a major civil rights achievement in our march towards LGBTQ plus equality. These twin achievements are the pillars of the democratic agenda, building an economy that works for working families and building a future where every American has the same access to justice and opportunity. The Republicans, however, remain uninterested in supporting the progress and prosperity of the American people. They voted against the American Rescue Plan and the Inflation Reduction Act, the laws that paved the way for our economic recovery and revitalization. And just last week, 169 House Republicans voted against protecting interracial and same-sex marriage. While they say no to opportunity and equality, Democrats will never walk away from our commitment to the American people.